folks, Tim here again with some more Marvel Strike Force. Uh, here we are, day 11. And, uh, it's going well. Alright, we hit level 52, which, which was great. Um, we unlocked the Nexus 5 campaign. Where is it? Right here. And this is as far as I've gotten so far. Um, this node's difficult. It's a metric shit ton of Hulk. And you have to protect um, an aim person. And those Hulks with their smashes just made that incredibly difficult. So I might need to uh, pump up my team a little bit. So we, we will try that again tomorrow. Um, let's see, where else are we at? So, our arena rank, as of today, is 1,466. And this is the team that I am using currently. You know, for our milestones, we're, we're on milestone 11 for Nature Nurture. You know, we got one day, and two, so basically two days left on Slick Outbreak. We're at milestone 10. You know, so... Yeah, we are we are definitely trucking right along. Uh, let's see, let's... Uh, so, we completed all milestones in today's Blitz uh, for uh, Earn Orb Fragments. So we, we completed all, f all uh, 14 milestones in that one. The Red Star Rampage, we only got to Milestone 8. But if you look, I'm not going to use Power Cores uh, to Blitz. So when that resets, we'll, we'll do, uh, we'll do a, few more, a few more Blitzes that way. Uh, with the Raids, you know, once again, it launched Gamma Raid 1. And it launched Ultimus 3. So... You know, here we are with Gamma Raid. I, I was kind of hoping I was going to be able to get to the end part, but hopefully, hopefully somebody else joins in and just decides to leapfrog me. That would be awesome. And then, you know, Ultimus 3. Again, hopefully somebody jumps in and leapfrogs me for the last three nodes. Right, well, there's 13 hours left. So I think even if nobody does that, I think I can come back that uh, I can come back and complete this one. The other side doesn't uh, doesn't look hopeful. There we are with that. Let's talk about characters that we unlocked today. So we have unlocked Falcon. Let's find him on here. Right, we unlocked we unlocked Falcon. He's part of the basically it's defunct power armor team. Uh, plus he's an Avenger. We unlocked Quake, who is Shield, and she's also part of the Inhuman team. We unlocked Captain America Sam. Accidentally, didn't mean to do it, but there he is. So he's part of the Secret Avengers. Dude, the Secret Avengers used to be awesome. I don't know what happened to them. Ba basically, it just the meta shifted and, and now they're not so great. But they were such a great team. Well, plus Kestrel, you know, she's now part of Pegasus. So that took away a key, key component of that team. Um, and we also unlocked the Omega Red. Where is he? I know he's in here. Oh, he's got three stars, right? So I love the Weapon X team. Love it. Absolutely. I, I still think to this day that that's a good team. But, um, you know, we're going to use them in war at some point as, as we get the pieces for it. They're, they're, they're a great war team. Other than that... So, you know, we unlocked... We unlocked, um, geez, we unlocked his event, and I just happened to have the stuff, so went ahead and got him to tier 3. 
which of course means we probably have a mega orb. I, I haven't looked at what orbs uh, we have available yet today. Uh, I wanted to wait for you guys to do that. So, yeah, like we're making progress. We're we're getting campaigns done. Um, you know, I'm I'm still still plugging along. We're doing well. I mean, to be level 52 on your 11th day, I personally think that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, so why don't we get into opening our orbs? What do we got? All right, so we got two premium orbs. Let's go ahead and crack those open. All right, well, one saber tooth, 15 anti-venom, anti-venom, one rescue, 15 red skull, and one Elsa bloodstone. And we can come on down to well, six basic orbs. And again, with basic orbs, you, you don't really expect you don't really expect anything great. You know, you're gonna 90% chance that you're gonna get. Do you know that I did not know that these three were in this orb or brawn? I did not know that. All right, so let's let's crack open those six. All right, so we got five bullseye. We got uh, two Doctor Voodoo. One uh, uh, World War Two Captain America. We got a Rhino. We got an Umbaku. And we got a Loki. Plus two thousand gold. So not too, not too great, but not bad. What else do we have going on here? We have, we're scrolling. There we go, some Legacy 2. We have two of those. Let's pop those bad guys open. All right, so we got 20 more Okoye. We got 20 War Machine. 60,000 gold. Nothing to sneeze at there. And then, well, we have one Mega Orb. So, that that's exciting. We'll go open that one Mega Orb. But, before we get there, let's open these Milestone 3. So, we have two of those. Let's see what we have. Alright, so five more ant Anti-Venom and some more Thing. Five more Thing Shards. Uh, T1 Ability Orb Fragments, Training Orb Fragments. So, alright. I, I actually want the thing, because I, I do want to build the new Avengers team. Uh, I think the new Avengers team is really good, and we're going to need it to unlock uh, Black Cat, I believe. Alright. Last but not least out of our uh, main store, Mega Orb. Let's see what we got. Uh, Star Brand. So, well there we go. So we got two Forge, we're 12 out of 100. We got some more Iron Heart, 64 out of 80. And we got Star Brand. So Starbrand is part of the Out of Time team, which will consist of uh, Captain America, Captain Carter. So let's go in there and take a peek at Out of Time. So, it'll be Captain America, who we already have unlocked at four stars. We have Starbrand, who we just unlocked. We have Black Knight. We're halfway to him, 55 out of 100. Cosmic Ghost Rider. We are 32 out of 100. And Peggy Carter, who has not been unlocked yet, 
so her her stars actually came from opening red star orbs so that's pretty good all right so that's going to be our out of time team and from what i can tell and i haven't used them a whole lot on my main account they're really freaking good the weak link i think is starbrand like he just seems to die every fight so his his passive uh 30 percent max health five percent crit chance and then as you go up like level two gain an additional 30 percent health gain an additional uh 50 per five percent crit chance per out of time and or black panther uh ally then you get 30 percent drain so do your allies like it's really cool at five on spawn apply immunity self and all out of time allies and war lower the max barrier of all enemies by five percent and then his ultimate attack primary target for 50 150 percent damage attack adjacent targets for 50 percent damage attack the most injured enemy ignoring taunt and stealth for 50 percent damage enemies killed by this attack cannot be revived this attack cannot be dodged or counterattacked, and in war, this attack ignores defense up. And it just gets progressively better. Like right here, plus 200% damage on primary and secondary tar targets apply one stun to the most injured ally. And then his special, attack primary target for 100% damage and apply slow. Attack adjacent targets for 50% damage and apply slow. This attack cannot be blocked or dodged. And then his basic attack primary target for 100% damage. Attack the enemy with the highest damage, ignoring taunt and stealth for 75% damage. And of course, you know, that just goes up. So he's not a bad character. And for, from what I can tell, that's it's, it's a good team. So I, I am excited to unlock him, right? Like, I do want to unlock it as much as we can. Um, you know, we may not be building everything at this point. And, you know, you know when I'll start thinking about building Starbrand? When we unlock Black Knight, when we unlock Cosmic Ghost Rider, and when we unlock Captain Carter. You know, some of these some of these teams we have parts for and i've been building them up but they're useful for what we're doing in the game now right like you know the these three pegasus they're very useful for what we're doing in the game now and they're working and you know um once we get kestrel this will be off the hook once we get Darkhawk, we'll have the whole team and and that'll put us in a good place right um you know so take the extreme x-men for example in my opinion sunspot is the the weak link of the team maybe i could be mistaken it could be cyclops might not be as good as i think he is but i think he's pretty good you know uh so you know gambit we're using cyclops we're using we are using sunspot um but you know getting nightcrawler getting forge that'll, that'll be awesome for us so we're, you know I, i'm only building the things uh that we really need like i built icarus but icarus has a place right i mean without cersei he's not as good but his ultimate still can clear a board attack all enemies for 230 percent damage on kill repeat this attack if Cersei is an active ally, flip three positive effects to negative effects on each enemy, gain 500% extra focus for this attack. Attack all enemies for 230% damage plus 30% piercing and reduce speed bar by 25%. So, really good, even better with Cersei. You know, so... To, to accomplish some stuff, yes, we got him to 51, we got him to gear tier 9. Uh, but we're using him, right? We're using Nebula uh, for 
the cosmic. Uh, we're using Adam Warlock. We're using Gamora. Um, as you can see, like anybody that's kind of fallen behind, like, yeah, we're using Thor, but eh, I've been kind of eh about it. You know, I got Wolverine, and I haven't used him yet. Uh, we did use him for one thing. I forget what it was. But, you know, Uncanny, Uncanny X-Men, he's part of the uh, United, and he is Weapon X. So if you think about it, now we have two parts of Weapon X. All right. So we can come over here to our Blitz Orbs. Um, so we used our Blitz credits today for Mockingbird and for some more rescue shards but we have some orbs so let's open the five orbs all right so we got 10 captain marvel we got uh 20 rescue which is great we got 10 spider-man miles and we got 10 rhino so yeah All right, we don't have any raid orbs. Uh, I didn't spend any raid credits today. I, you know, again, it's it's hard at the beginning to amass uh, raid credits. So we haven't really been doing anything. But, you know, I mean, 900, we can open a few orbs. I'd, I'd rather open orbs than not get anything. So, you know, we can open two orbs. Let's go ahead. Alright, so we got a couple characters we want, right? We got Marvel Hardlight. We got ten of her. Scientist Supreme. Who, by the way, is not on my list of things we want. <laughs> but we got ten of her. We got four more Cloak. I want Cloak. Um, that uh, new warrior team is something special. We got Elsa. We got four more Thor. And we got four Bishop. So right here, Marvel Hardlight and Cloak. That's what we're excited to get. You know, and then we have our Arena Orb. And Arena credits are hard to come by. But we, we got Gambit for the day. We got our Gambit shard. So 35 out of 130. We're happy about that. Um, we could take a look at this store here. Like we don't. We have 513. We don't have. I mean we, we do have him. Right. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to invest in that. But if you look like. Most of these. You know. They cost one. Of uh, the silver promo credits which are easy to come by right like if we had unlocked cloak I, I would definitely get you know I'd get the first red star in cloak if we unlocked brawn I'd get the first red star in brawn um, we did unlock Emma Frost I'm just not sure at this um, at my at the stage of the game I'm at now for one um, and two in the she's a good she's a good character she's not great but she's not shitty either she's a good character that you can plug you know you can plug into into some groups if you need what she brings to the table um you know if i had forge i definitely would you know so that's uh that's just about it guys like a good Good day, especially open, you know, unlocking Starbrand. That makes the day even better. So tomorrow I'm going to continue to uh, work on the campaigns where I can. You know, um, I'm pretty close to 53, which we'll probably get from our daily objectives. Um, you know, we're on, you know, we're up here on our strike pass. You know, so not too shabby we're gonna end up getting some more what when all said and done well okay so i'm not gonna make it through the straight pass because it ends in 20 hours so but we will get as far as we can go 
and uh, yeah and then we'll see what the next one is so there there was a blog released on Friday um, and I haven't read it yet so I'm probably going to take a look at that tonight or tomorrow morning depending on which um, you know and see see what's coming well you know what Let's let's take a gander at the at the new blog. All right, so uh, battle plan for April thirteenth through April nineteenth. So April fifteenth at two p.m. So tomorrow is the fifteenth. Uh, battle pass void night. So that'll be cool to get some 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 void night. Uh, Cosmo blitz. Then on the sixteenth we'll have. Earthlings needed. Earn event orb fragments. Spend campaign energy. Spend ISO 8 campaign energy. I love spending campaign energy, so. Uh, Revenge of the Blitz. Earn Blitz credits. Attack at the plants. Spend ISO 8 campaign energy. And you'll earn allied supply for orb fragments. Then on the 19th, we have the animal six pack quick rumble. Blitz with superior six. Uh, character availability. Nightcrawler is going to the Cosmic Crucible store, which does us no good at this point. Forge is going to the War store, which could be good for us. Sunspot to Hard Hero 6, replacing Anti-Venom, who will still be in the Arena store. Alright, so the, spider, uh, the next Spider Society... I can't talk again today, jeesh. Team with their newest member on April 15th with Spider-Man Pavitur. Dance around raid enemies with rebound chains and set the pace of battle with slows and speed up with his Mumbaton Menace. And you're going to get them uh, through some orbs. They're, uh, yeah, I'm not, I won't be spending 675 orbs. That he'll be in some offers and have a deal to unlock. Yeah, it's more spend your money. So your Friday free claim. Uh, blast through the nature nurture events and bombard your roster with character shards with this free claim. That's available from now until April 13th. So that was Friday. I did. Uh, I did manage to collect that. Uh, Earthlings Needed scored Peter B. Parker Shards, Crimson Gear, Diamond Orb Fragments. So you're going to earn your points by collecting Planetary Orb Fragments from ISO 8 Campaign Nodes and Quick Rumble Blitz Milestones. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go, a 48-hour uh, bonus event. So that starts April 16th, which is Tuesday, yes. Alright, and then detail breakdown on when and where to get planetary orb fragments. Uh, daily Revenge of the Blitz web milestone. Daily login calendar for the first five days. Daily free claims from the web store. Uh, campaign hard nodes ISO 8. Milestones, uh, Blitz battle milestones. Okay. For 48 hours on Friday and Saturday. So the Revenge of the Blitz milestone. Support the Earthlings Needed event with your Blitz expertise. Uh, rack up Blitz, Blitz credits for progress. The rewards will be Planetary Orb Fragments and Earthlings Needed Progress. That starts Tuesday. So they're saying 2 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. For me, that's 5 p.m. Uh, Attack of the Planets Alliance Milestone. Flex your green thumb with the ISO-8 lab. Spend ISO-8 campaign energy and, sta and snag ally supply for orb fragments. Um, what's up for grab more gamma rays, dark promo credits, and T2L4 ions. And that is going to be Wednesday at 5 o'clock. Right? 17th. Yeah. All right. 
let the Superior Six lead the charge in this Blitz Frenzy. Blitz with Superior Six characters with bonuses for 5 and 7 stars. The prize, Planetary Orb Fragments and Gamma Rays. And that comes April 19th, which is Friday. Dark Dimension Update. Now that there are seven Dark Dimensions and countless rewards up for grabs, we are making updates to make traversing these realms easier. In the near future, we are reducing the cooldown period after completing a Dark Dimension from 24 hours to just one hour. If you are ready to battle against the Dread One's forces in Dark Dimension after just an hour, then good luck and move out. Also getting updated is the Epic Campaign section, specifically the order in which the Dark Dimensions appear when you enter the Epic Campaign screens. When the updates go live, the newest Dark Dimension will appear first, currently Dark Dimension 7, and then Dark Dimensions will appear in ascending order. Um... Called out in this blog was a celebratory cry for the fall of Dark Dimension 7. Uh, we congratulate Beta Ray Bill again for his triumphant uh, victory. Alright, so Spider Society improvements. Dude, they're really good. Like, from, from that initial event, they're really good. Alright. Uh, to ensure the new Spider Society raid team reaches its full potential, some improvements are being made to some of the characters. Uh, you know, you, you, can, you can read that part. Um, starting next raid season, there will be a significant increase to the Crimson Gear that you can earn from the raid season leaderboards. Incursion 2 raids will also grant a large bonus in season points at 100% completion. Uh, we got some new showcases. Uh, well, not new. The Spider so Society is still going on. Um, I like the three tiers thing, right? Players were only able to... Comp in some recent showcases, players were only able to complete two, two difficulty tiers for free, which was less satisfying. We're working to make three tiers the standard going forward whenever possible. So that's that's good. Um, they did some some uh, recent updates. Unfortunately, the persistent red drop red dot in the inbox has to be fixed on the client side. This means we will fix it in a future app update. We are looking to bring back the open all orb button as soon as possible. Our top concern was game stability. We are looking into several things to improve. We hear your feedback and know this is a highly desired feature and it will be back as soon as we can do so without disrupting stability. So, there was... Oops, what did I do? There was for a while when you went uh, to go and open your orbs. Say you had... 37 premium orbs well there would be a button where you could just open all 37 and at least for me and again i don't play this on my phone i use blue stacks on my computer and every fourth or fifth time that i would use that button it would it would crash the game and then i would get stuck in a loop of crash reload crash reload crash reload so and again, it's not optimized for blue stacks. It's optimized for your cell phone. Um, and, I, and I have to remember that when I get cranky about stupid little shit that happens. All right, guys. Uh, that's going to be it for this video. Um, once again, please like. Please subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, I will catch up with you tomorrow with day 12. All right, folks. I'm out of here.